the Ghana Ely News Network. Our world our stories from our perspective or sponsor or advertise with us on YouTube, Facebook or at News at yahoo.com. Subscribe or order your Ghana Ely News Network from News at yahoo.com for a price of only one euros. The Ghana Ely News Network available in all African churches and in all African shops. On our top stories for this month, we'll be looking at the assisted voluntary return. Reverend Kweku also celebrates his 70th birthday. To awaken the financial champion in you, you have to renew your mind about financial prosperity. This is one thing you must boldly do. Change your negative attitudes towards wealth and prosperity. Throw away every negative lie about money ignorant people has told you. Break away from the lies of the enemy and set your soul free from the prison of poverty. Poverty is not your lot. You were not created to come into this world to live in abject poverty. Money is not the root of all evil. Money is the answer for everything. This is a free excerpt of Apostle Rema Williams' book titled Think Better and Get Better. To order your copy of this great and life-changing book, please contact Trinity Bookshop Brescia via G. Berche number 40 or call 389-1221-689 or 329-822-8756 or call his landline that's 0305030466 The invitation cards and posters which went out concerning the occasion read Kingdom Way Pentecostal Church Italy invite all to the special birthday celebrations and Thanksgiving service of Reverend Tony Kokoi on the 14th and 15th of April 2012. But as it was witnessed, none imagined that the response would be so great. Friends and well wishes from all parts of Italy and around Europe had a date. The party which was held at the church hall in Via Vecchia Ferriera could not contain the invitees. Speaking about this, the daughter of the honorary, Reverend Deborah Lam Lante, smiled with a comfortable satisfaction saying that even though there were many on the overflow, all present were comfortably seated and all were satisfactorily served. Reverend Tony was showered with gifts from his family, friends, co-ministers, and almost every association present in the city of Vicenza. These included roses, medals, appreciations, expensive and special group gifts, etc. Everyone who got to know about the occasion did not allow their names to be left out of the birthday budget. The service began with an opening prayer, followed by praise and worship, and then after him being introduced, the honoree was called on to give his speech. Mr. and Mrs. Ousu Amwako and Reverend Tony's daughter, who is also one of the pastors of the church founded by his father, were then called on to help Reverend Tony to cut his cake. Reverend Deborah stood by her father's side as he cut his broad, white, and chocolate-covered birthday cake 
while the crowds urinated with a happy birthday tune. Amongst special 70th birthday toasts, none which include I'll never be an old man, no wise man ever wish to be younger and more, Reverend Tony to chose none but to be bathed in prayers by ministers present and re-consecrated to his heavenly father. This was led by Apostle Adenitere of the Zoe Pentecostal Church worldwide. The seven, special 70th birthday Thanksgiving service, which was held on the Sunday, was aimed at giving total praise to Reverend Tony's makeup, God Almighty. The legendary pastor was joined by over 500 guests, including renowned pastors and leading members of the Ghanaian community in Italy. The children you just watched, uh, the pre Christian Faith Preparatory School children, we God has given us the grace to do this children uh, long distance child adoption. Please, if, if you want to adopt any of these children, send a donation of 10 euro a month, that is 120 euro a year, to the Christian Faith Preparatory School, uh, Echo Bangana Limited, Takradi Branch. CC 160123747001 a Ghanaian President John Evans Atta Mills has been ranked as the joint 10th West Performing African Leader of 2011, only ahead of the likes of Rupia Banda of Zambia, who exited office only after one term in office, President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, and Abdullahi Wade, former President of Senegal. The damning verdict of President Mills' leadership in his first term of office is contained in the 2011 Gallup poll, which occurred before the Wyoming scandal broke out. The poll, which sought to find out approval ratings of 34 African leaders among their citizens, had President Mills joining President Jacob Zuma of South Africa in occupying the 10th position. Among West African leaders polled, President Mills was declared the second West performing leader, only beating the former president of Senegal, Abdoulaye Wade, whereas Pierre Nkurunziza of Burundi, Yayi Boni of Benin, and former Malian president, Amadou Taumanu Tuare, received approval rating of 89%, 87%, and 86 respectively from their constituents. President John Atta Mills received a mega rating of 57% among Ghanaians. Even President Paul Bia of Cameroon, who has stayed in office for a total of 29 years, obtained a rating of 73%, with only 26% of Cameroonians showing disapproval. Similarly, the president of Ghana's northern neighbor, Blaise Kampuari, who has also enjoyed a 28-year rule, obtained a 71% approval rating among Burkinabes. Other notable leaders who ranked ahead of President Mills include Good Luck Jonathan of Nigeria, who obtained an 81% approval rating, 81% for Ian Kama of Botswana, 
and an 80% approval rating for Alpha Conde of Guinea. The World Bank has awarded a grant of $4.2 million under its Urban Development Grant, UDG, to the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly, KMA, to undertake development projects following the declaration of Kumasi as the best managed metropolis in the country. The KMA was the only metropolitan assembly that met the entire criteria. Organized by the SIF, the workshop was attended by political administrative decision makers, including metropolitan and municipal chief executives, presiding members and planning officers, among others from the 14 assemblies that were benefiting from the SIF. It's alleged that a young woman dared anyone who had the courage to have sexual intercourse with her in the open, stand the chance of winning 100 Ghana cities from her. One young man, according to reports, obliged and indeed engaged in the act in the full glare of the holiday makers. The supposed scandal has infuriated the chiefs and elders who have consequently asked the gods of the ancestors to deal ruthlessly with the alleged perpetrators if it did happen, or those peddling falsehood about it if it did not. The angry chiefs performed the first of many rituals planned to clear the name of Kau. Thorough investigations conducted by us have revealed nothing of that bizarre incident happened at Obomi during the Easter festivities. That the scandal has indeed overshadowed the very entertaining tourism potentials that were the highlights of this year's Easter, including the highly patronized Paragliding Festival and the over 200 trekkers who participated for the first time. In the hiking event. The Ebitifi and Adontihini of the Kuo traditional area, Nane Siedu Ajiman III, addressing the media, said the ritual serves as a warning to media houses or a group of persons who continue to air false stories on the matter. Party funding scandal has forced Umberto Bossi, founder of the populist anti-immigrant Northern League Party, to resign after 30 years. Mr. Bossi said he was resigning for the good of the party. Mr. Francesco Belsito, a former Northern League treasurer, resigned on Tuesday following allegations that he misused party funds to remodel Mr. Bossi's house and paid for his children's holidays. Mr. Bossi has denied any wrongdoing himself. For a man who has been vocal against corruption, such a scandal involving his family is a big blow. While many describe this resignation as an end of an era, it's still unclear whether he'll make a comeback. Umberto Borsi's son Renzo resigned his position as councillor in the Lombardy Regional Assembly. Four days after a big financial scandal caused Borsi Elder to quit as the leader of the Northern League. Quotes, I've stepped aside in this moment of difficulty without anyone asking me to, unquote, Renzo Borsi told Mediaset Television. Quotes, I'm giving an example. I have peace of mind and have faith in the judiciary, even though I'm not under investigation, unquote. <laughs> 